Okay, so welcome back to another Sullivan Cup game day wrap up. I have First Sergeant Stevens, um, the tank First Sergeant, and then First Sergeant Sergeant, uh, the Bradley First Sergeant. So we're just gonna do a little recap of what we did uh, yesterday. So it was L fast for tanks and zero, zero for the, the Bradleys. First on, can you go over what, what the zero is and, and the importance of it, basically? Yeah, absolutely. So they do a bore sight. That's to generally get them close to the target. They're going to use their eight rounds. Um, they're going to zero, and the goal is to refine it so they're hitting the target um, with each sight. So the big thing in this and is getting the aux sight. So they have the auxiliary sight in case their main sight goes down. They have to re-zero that as well and make sure that all sights are shooting at the same target. So not only are we trying to get rounds on the target you're aiming at, but it's also uh, um, ammo consumption, right? So you're not wasting ammo. Absolutely. Okay. And then for the tanks, we, we call it LFAST because the Army loves acronyms. Go ahead and give me what that is and then what's the, basically what LFAST is. So for the tanks, they have to go through a live fire accuracy screening test. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow the tanks to almost zero mm -hmm. for that lot of ammunition that they're receiving based on SABO, MPAT, that kind of thing. So the idea is, is we have computer correction factors for the ballistic solutions built into the computers already. So when they go to what we call screen or LFAST, they'll do a round against an ST5 panel that's out at 1500 meters or 1600 meters to be able to see where that round's gonna impact. If it falls within the circle wholly, then they're screened, they can move on to the next piece of ammunition. If not, based on the tolerances built into the ammunition, then we can give a, what we call a discrete computer correction factor and we can actually get that the impact of that round to fall inside of that circle so that way when the tanks go to engage targets they can have confidence in the platform that the rounds are actually going to strike the target yeah i think that's the big key with uh l fast n zero is obviously you want to hit that target but when you leave that you're as a crew you want to feel that confidence going into your qualification tables knowing you're gonna you're gonna hit your target so Awesome. We're going to switch gears and talk a little bit about what we did today. So we have it split up in two groups. You got your tanks doing some stuff and you got your Bradley crews doing some stuff. Uh, but let's first talk about what the Bradleys did today. They did a call for fire uh, testing and what we, we, we made as a doctrine exam. Go ahead and explain a little bit what those things are and how it went. So the doctrine exam is broken up by position, by platform. So the gunner took one different than the TC, than the driver. They all took their ones. Um, the crews have been stressing this doctrine exam because doctrine is a vast topic. Yeah. Um, so the crews came in very over-prepared, which was immense for them because a lot of them are saying, man, I overstudied for this. I, I tried way too hard in studying and, and it paid off though. Um, they breezed right through it. Uh, there were some technical questions in there that kind of threw them off. But for the most part, the crew members did amazing. They were very prepared. It's just like what you would tell a soldier studying for a promotion board, right? Like you, here's the topics we're gonna go over and here's the associated references and publications. Um, the more you put into it, the better the outcome's gonna be, right? So Absolutely. So, Talk to us a little bit about Call for Fire. How did that go? Uh, the Call for Fire went extremely well for a lot of the crews. Um, our international crew, as to be expected, they, we're on a different system than what we were used to, but they seem to quickly adapt this the process. Um, it's mostly the same, but yeah. a few each is there. Um, all the crews though, they seemed very pleased with their scores coming out of it. They walked out of it very confident. So it was, it was a good test of a, a different skill outside of being a Bradley crewman. Yeah, it's awesome. It's good to know that the international crews uh, pick up on it quickly. I mean, I get it, it's a competition, but at the end of the day, when all things are said and done, um, those are our partners and allies. So Absolutely. if we go out and fight together, we know we got that reassurance that we got this. You know? Absolutely. Okay, First Sergeant Stevens, let's talk about what the tank crews did today. Was their tank table four? Um, just a little bit what the tank table four means. Uh, it's not the qualification, but it's the one before. Go ahead and take it so, away. Tank table, so the gunnery table four for the tanks is just a practice table. This was basically just to give the crews an opportunity to knock the dust off, to, to get back into that live fire scenario mentality. So we faced a few problems this morning with some of the player units on the range. Uh, we were able to work through those. What's One, the player unit? So the player unit is going to give us that through sight video. So that way we can see what the crews are seeing and hear what the crews are saying inside of the vehicle as it's going down the lane in real time. Okay. And we can critique their runs based on that information. So. We, uh, we have one thing that has been a stronghold for these crews. They're extremely resilient. Uh, they've been in great spirits and, and very competitive edges right, the, the right. Whole, throughout the whole day. So they've been doing great in that regard. Uh, the Table 4s is one of those opportunities where 
it gives them the live fire opportunity without being a true qualification table. So it's dialed back a little bit. It shows them some challenges, but not enough to really discourage them. So they did a great job with that today. Uh, when we came out, the tank table four mentality, they, they actually excelled at it. So we've got some pretty good competition going on among the tank crews already. And I think it, we're really prepared going into tank table six. Okay. So just uh, look in the future, right, what we're going to do next. So tomorrow we're just kind of kind of flip-flop with the Bradley and tank crews. Uh, Bradleys are going to do their gun table four, and then our tank crews are going to go do their doctrine exam, doctrine exam and carver fire. Um, we also had a thunder strike today uh, down in Red Cloud, which was awesome. I went down there and watched it. A lot of people attended that, but we're also going to have another one on Monday um, with some media there to come out as well for another one of those. Uh, but Monday is a great event uh, we call Starry PT. Um, so all the crews will go out there and do that and then kind of leading up into a whole smorgasbord of events uh, to include the qualification, the meat and potatoes, our gun table six. So looking forward to it.